Welcome back, great YouTubers. This is part 33, no, 43, sorry. Let's go on in, in camp. Let's see on the map, uh, we have, here we have Jose Matthews, here we have Mary Beth, uh, let's go to Jose, let's see yeah. what we can do to help him, there he is. Jose? Hey Arthur. Come on, if we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Vanderlind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure. <laughs> That we will find some. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Bronte, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gunga? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Follow the escort. Arthur, that's not the way. It's a mighty fine house. <laughs> oh, they're allowed to have guns. Ah, the angry cowboys who arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people. It, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... What an asshole. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm 
going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters, but you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> All righty then. To the party, gentlemen. If you'll kindly follow me. They sure did talk a lot of trash about their guests. Follow Dutch. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Mi amore. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening, sir. Evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, don't make us some news friends. Gentlemen, would you have a fine What? Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man! This man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Thank you. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! 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 My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Follow the servant and remain undetected. That I shall do. Let's see if I can find some information. Retrieve the ledger from the desk. I 
Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Return to Dutch at the gala. Town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and then I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. It's, now it's gonna be trouble, maybe? Here comes Lenny. Okay, now. Alright. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. <laughs> all them folk are so pleased with themselves. <laughs> oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> okay, if you like this part, guys, please be sure to check out the next one. Have a nice day. Toodaloo.